us so we were talking about strip lines in our last videos and in strip lines we have seen up to here it is about the uh, micro strip line and in the micro strip line we have seen the construction as well as uh, what type of how the signal is transmitted the radiation and uh, then we have studied about uh, the characteristic impedance and then about uh, the losses at last the quality factor right we have problems related to the equations what we have seen in the micro strip lines which we'll uh, see in uh, any of our uh, online class that uh, I'll complete all the topics because everywhere we are getting equations, a lot of equations which will apply directly on the problems. Okay, so the next type of uh, strip line that we are going to study here is about the parallel strip line. As I have told, we are studying or we are speaking or we are discussing about four types of strip lines. But the first one is micro strip line, the second one is the parallel strip line, and the third one will be the coplanar, and the last one will be the shielded strip line. Uh, so, as the name says, uh, the parallel strip line means it is like a as the name says, uh, it has a parallel plates parallel plates there are two parallel plates we can say like this So two parallel plates and here the gap between the plates are filled with the dielectric dielectric so this distance this distance between the parallel plate is considered as d the thickness of the dielectric whatever we are considering and this tells you about the width of the plate and the width of the plate is considered this will continue this will continue so the width of the plate is considered as w width of the plate is considered as w and uh, the uh, gap between the two plates is considered as d uh, the thickness of the dielectric So this is our dielectric or uh, the parallel strip line or in another way we can show it something like this also. Uh, the two plates, one is this. Yeah, in between these two it's filled with the dielectric material again this is d and this is considered as w the width of the plates yeah the plates are nothing but the work conducting material so normally the copper material is used uh, the width as i have told we are considering it as w and the thickness of the dielectric material is considered as d and the dielectric constant is taken as epsilon rd epsilon rd now uh, the mode of operation here the mode of propagation i can say is again the quasi uh, tm mode which i had explain it in the beginning as i have told there are different types of modes of propagation one is te mode tm mode again there are uh, some te11 mode te10 uh, mode and all which is not required let us just understand it is a uh, transverse electromagnetic gear. that means it transfers both electromagnetic which are perpendicular to the uh, path what we are considering now what we have to deal here is we are discussing only about the uh, uh, important Important conducting uh, properties uh, here we'll get the inductance here we'll get the capacitance because whenever it is a parallel plate it acts like a capacitance right so if the gap between the two plates are reduced so much that the width is very much high when compared to the uh, this dielectric thickness then I can say it acts like a um, uh, 
an inductor also uh, as well as we'll get the resistance and uh, the uh, conductance so here the different uh, things uh, what we are going to study is if we imagine or if we consider the width of the plate the width of the plate is very much greater than d that means the thickness uh, this thickness if it is reduced to very small the uh, capacitance can be reduced because whenever we speak about a parallel plate what happens between the plates there will be a dielectric material so this acts like a parallel plate right here uh, if this thickness is reduced if it is negligibly small when compared to the width of the plate then we can say uh, the capacitance is negligible or it gives more importance to the inductance so we can write the inductance of this as l is equal to we know the expression it is mu c d divided by w henry per meter whatever we are writing we are writing in terms of uh, meter so it is henry per meter uh, so here mu c we know it's a permeability of the conductor permeability of the conductor now what is the expression for capacitance capacitance is given by it is epsilon epsilon a by d right uh, so we can write it as epsilon d w divided by d it's farad per per meter it's farad per meter uh, the next is about the uh, series resistance of both the strips because it is not a single strip it, it has two strips like uh, so we can say it is a series connection over here so the series uh, resistance of both the strips is given by r is equal to it's 2 times r s divided by w which is 2 divided by w into what is rs rs from our previous topics we have seen it is square root of pi f mu c by sigma c pi f mu c by sigma c ohms per meter it's ohms per meter so r where rs is the surface resistance rs is nothing but the surface resistance phase resistance and sigma c is the conductivity of the strips which is represented in mole per meter is the conductivity of the strip c conductivity of the strip so then last thing uh, it is about the shunt conductance uh, sorry guys i uh, i told you it is the uh, shunt conductance is this and series resistance is this yeah so the shunt conductance is given by its g is equal to sigma d w divided by d uh, so what is sigma d sigma d is the conductivity of the dielectric material between the strips so because uh, we have seen about the uh, transmission lines right in the transmission lines what we what we know with the transmission line also looks like this in the transmission line we have a resistor we have an inductor and then we have a capacitor as well as the uh, inductor that we are uh, going to uh, sorry the conductors that we are going to consider it is the same structure it is the same structure here it is filled with the dielectric material so we will get a resistance we are considering the resistance of this as well as this and we have inductor and then we have capacitor and then we have the conductor so the equations are very important the l is given by you see uh, d divided by d divided by w which is the width and here c is equal to epsilon d w divided by d uh, why inductance has c is inductance when you are speaking it tells you about it is considered with the conducting material that's why it is the permeability or it's not the permeability of the medium it is the permeability of the conductor uh, and when we speak about the capacitance we consider the dielectric right that's why epsilon d is considered and when it is resistance again it is the uh, mu c and when it is conductance again it is related to the conductivity of the dielectric so it is sigma d yeah i hope you guys will follow this now uh, after knowing all these uh, uh, about all these elements the next thing what we'll see is about the characteristic impedance of the microstrip line so the characteristic impedance 
impedance of the micro strip line is represented as z not as usual and it is given by an expression z not is equal to root of l by c this is what we had seen in our first module also right because our parallel strip acts like a transmission line uh, it, it has two lines and uh, there is some dielectricity and the components whatever we have seen it is similar to the components what we have seen in a transmission line so here the expression of z not is given by square root of l by c which we have already seen and what is l and what is c uh, so we can substitute for l and c we know that l is nothing but mu c d divided by w and what is our c c is nothing but epsilon d w divided by d now what we can do just rearrange this you will get square root of mu c it's uh, once again it's d square divided by its epsilon d into w square so now from this can i put that d by w outside uh, square with the square root cancels so it becomes d by w its square root of mu c can be written as it is mu naught into mu c and divided by it is epsilon naught into epsilon if it's if it's a confusion then you can write it as mu rc and mu r d over here yeah uh, so with this uh, what we can substitute or what we can use is we can say this is equal to it's 377 divided by root of um, epsilon rd into d by w into d by w so this is about the characteristic impedance now the phase velocity of the tm uh, wave propagating through the parallel strip is given by the phase velocity what expression we had seen previously it is omega divided by beta don't get confused with the omega and w this is nothing but omega and here what we have considered it is w tells about the width so it is 1 by root of lc again substitute for uh, l and c when you substitute for l and c uh, d you have in the numerator here d you have in the denominator so d get cancelled mm, w w you have in the numerator as well as the denominator that get cancelled so what remains is 1 divided by square root of mu naught uh, mu c epsilon naught and epsilon rd and uh, the conducting material permeability is given by one so what remains is c divided by root of epsilon rd epsilon rd meter per second meter per second yeah that's all about the characteristic impedance and the phase velocity the last topic in this uh, parallel strip line is to discuss about the losses right as we had seen the losses in case of our micro strip line here also we need to know about the losses the main losses we here we are considering we are not speaking about the radiation losses we are just dealing with the, the um, alpha c that is the attenuation loss due to the conducting material and the attenuation loss due to the dielectric material so only about alpha c and alpha d so in general we say it is a uh, we are speaking here about the radiation losses uh, sorry attenuation losses attenuation losses so the next topic is attenuation losses now uh, at microwave frequencies it's uh, similar to our transmission line so nothing in depth to explain here at microwave frequencies the propagation constant of a strip line can be written as gamma is equal to its root of propagation constant so it is equal to a z into y this we have already seen right what is z and y z we know that it is r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c what next we can do for r very much less than omega l and for g very much less than omega c we can uh, we can substitute all those relations and we can expand the taylor series and all after that what we had done in our first module after that we end up with an expression it is 1 by 2 r root of c by l plus g root of l by c if you have any confusion turn pages and check this expression from your first module into plus j omega root l c 
सो गामा इज आफ्टर सिंप्लीफाइंग एक्सपैंडिंग थ्रू द टेलर सीरीज एंड देन सिंप्लीफाइंग गेट वी गेट एन प्रपोगेशन कॉन्स्टेंट एक्सप्रेशन एंड दैट इज गिवन बाय गामा इज इक्वल टू हाफ आर रूट ऑफ सी बाय एल प्लस जी रूट ऑफ एल बाय सी प्लस जे ओमेगा रूट ऑफ एल सी ना फ्रॉम दिस वॉट इज दिस वी नो दैट प्रपोगेशन कॉन्स्टेंट इज नथिंग बट आल्फा प्लस जे बीटा राइट सो वी आर मेनली स्पीकिंग अबाउट द एटर्नेशन कॉन्स्टेंट सो फ्रॉम दिस एटर्नेशन कॉन्स्टेंट कैन बी रिटर्न एज आल्फा इज इक्वल टू इट्स वन बाय टू द रियल पार्ट वन बाय टू आर रूट ऑफ सी बाय एल प्लस जी रूट ऑफ एल बाय सी एल बाय सी वॉट इज द इमेजिनरी इमेजिनरी इज नथिंग बट द फेस कॉन्स्टेंट विच इज बीटा इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा इंटू रूट ऑफ एल सी ओमेगा इंटू रूट ऑफ एल सी ना वी हैव टोल्ड वी आर स्पीकिंग अबाउट द एटर्नेशन लॉसेज सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ लॉसेज वन इज द ड्यू टू द कंडक्टिंग मटीरियल एंड द अदर वन इज ड्यू टू द डायलेक्ट्रिक सो एटर्नेशन कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर अ कंडक्टर लॉसेज इज गिवन बाय इफ आई कन कंडक्टर मीन्स इट इज अबाउट द पैरल बट इट इज इट इज वी आर कंसिडरिंग इट कन वी we can write that expression considering the resistance and for the dielectric it is considering the conductance so what we can write here is what we can write here is Uh, the attenuation constant for the conductor losses is represented by alpha c and we are considering it as our first part that is r by 2 root of c by l now we we'll substitute 1 by 1 which is equal to 1 by 2 as it is what is r r is nothing but from our previous uh, x explanation we have seen r is nothing but 2 by w root of pi f mu c divided by sigma c we'll substitute the same thing here it is 2 by w 2 by w root of pi f mu c divided by sigma c what about c by l c is nothing but epsilon d w by d divided by Uh, what is about uh, our uh, l l is nothing but um, uh, sorry mu c it's mu c d by w so now from this what we can write again this will go to the numerator so it becomes w square divided by d square which can be taken outside uh, so two to get cancelled over here you are taking so 1 by w over here again w by d what next uh, what simplification we can do here it square root of mu c mu c got cancelled so it is pi f pi f epsilon d divided by sigma c yeah uh, so we are left with what further simplification w w can be cancelled so what remains is alpha c is equal to 1 by d root of root of pi f epsilon d divided by sigma c pi f epsilon d divided by sigma c meters per meter yeah so that is about the attenuation uh, constant uh, due to the conductor now it is due to the uh, dielectric dielectric i need to consider the second part so if i consider the second part then it is alpha d is equal to it is g by 2 root of l by c l by c again we need to substitute what is our g l and c g is nothing but sigma d w by d and uh, we have to substitute for l and c as well so what happens 1 by 2 as it is g is nothing but sigma d w divided by uh, d now root of l is nothing but it's mu c d by w divided by epsilon d w by d so here uh, 1 by 2 as it is sigma d w by d and from this it's d square and by w square so d by w d by w over here root of mu c by 
epsilon d upon further simplification d with d w with w so sigma d by 2 root of mu c by epsilon d now from this what we can write this can be written as sigma d by 2 and this is nothing but it's mu naught mu rc divided by divided by it's epsilon d epsilon naught into epsilon rd for the conducting strips we know that mu r or mu rc is nothing but 1 so what remains is sigma d divided by 2 if you simplify this root of mu naught with epsilon naught you get it as 377 into root of 1 divided by epsilon rd so 377 by uh, 2 is nothing but 187 or 188 point something you will get so we will consider only the uh, not a decimal value so it is 188 sigma d divided by root of epsilon rd yeah so we got epsilon d as this as long d as this yeah that's all about the uh, parallel strip lines the next thing as i have told what we have is about is the problems we will be given with the few uh, things and we'll be asked to find out what is r l g or uh, what is alpha d or what is alpha c and so on uh, so we'll just glance once we are speaking about parallel strip lines here parallel strip lines there will be two conducting uh, strips uh, so the they will the two conducting plates will act like a, a they will be placed parallel uh, and uh, evenly the dielectric will be distributed in between those two uh, plates so width of the plate is considered as w and the uh, dielectric thickness is considered as d now this is something similar to our transmission line what we have seen which will have the elements like uh, resistance uh, inductance and uh, capacitance as well as a uh, conductance since uh, it is a parallel plate we can compare it with our capacitance now what happens if the width is very high and the thickness of the dielectric is very small it it, uh, uh, it has more properties of the inductance rather than the capacitance so l is given by this expression and c is given by this equation and uh, and guys remember as i have told uh, l and r is on the strip so you are using you are representing it with c uh, whereas uh, c and uh, g uh, it's uh, mainly related to our dielectric that's why that we are considering the dielectric medium epsilon d or sigma d whatever it is conductivity of the medium yeah now after that uh, it's about the characteristic impedance z naught z what uh, we have seen it is root of l by c and then we are substituting for l and c then you are simplifying that is what you will get because a uh, new rc or mu c is nothing but the permeability of the conductor and the permeability of the conductor is considered as one next is about the uh, phase velocity so vp is equal to oh, it is uh, W by beta sorry it's omega by uh, beta uh, next is about the detonation losses as I have told uh, we are not speaking about the radiation losses here because uh, the uh, uh, re uh, 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 losses what we are considering is about the detonation that is due to the conductor as well as to the dielectric uh, firstly uh, we are dealing with uh, gamma that is a propagation constant and it's the same equations what we have seen in our first module and from that alpha tells you about the attenuation and this is the attenuation now from this what we can write alpha c and alpha d we can separate alpha c is the first part where there is a resistance and uh, alpha d is the second part where there is a conductance so uh, again uh, for everything you are substituting for r l and c and then simplifying and you will get the actual expressions for alpha d and alpha c yeah that's it about the, the parallel strip line so the next uh, we'll see about coplanar as well as the shielded yeah thank you guys